Hey guys, Karex50 here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing Astro Switch Set 01 from Conrad Force. This is the first of what are essentially expansion packs for the Forza driver by giving you more Astro Switches to use with it. The set includes what is going to be the standard for Astro Switch sets, which are two Astro Switches and one Ganma Ride card. So, what we have here are these two switches, number 7 and number 8. First is number 7, the parachute switch. Another square switch. This one has green color and a sticker with the number 7 and a parachute in the background. This switch is activated by taking this lever here and pulling it up, like so. There's even a molded in arrow indicating to pull up on both sides. And we have number 8, the chainsaw switch. This one is a cross switch with a sticker here with the number 8 and a chainsaw in the background. This one is activated by taking this translucent black panel and flipping it upwards where we see the cross which is in a light blue color. And actually, that's one of the nice things about this, is that it gives you a better idea of the cross shape of these kind of switches, rather than the launcher switch, which had the switch on top that was moved forward and backwards. And the switch can also be moved past this point, but really, all you need to do to fully activate it is just flip it to that point. And then, finally, we have the Gun Right card, which is a card of Forza, with Astro Switch Set written down here to indicate that it came with a Switch Set. So, this is just the basic Forza. It's got his attack stats, which are Punch 90, Punch 9, Punch 80, Kick 70, Kick 60, Kick 70, Punch 50. His attack strength is 500, his defense is 400, and his speed is 450. His special attack is Cosmic Knuckle, which has a power of 2000. And here you have the back, which has his symbol, which is basically his head, even more made to look like a rocket. We have a picture here, a kind of character bio here. And a new feature with Forza's cards which are basically these indicators of switches. Now I guess what, from what I can get, some Forza cards will automatically have some switches on them which, can, which will be turned on. These ones have all switches off. Now one of the things about Gunma Ride now is that Astro switches can be used with Gunma Ride game in battle when using Forza. So basically, if you have Forza in battle and if you put Astro switches into their corresponding sockets, you can use them to power them up. Another thing about this is that this is the first of this of a new wave of Gunma Ride cards that have actually been redesigned. Gun Ride started in 2009, which was the same year as Kamen Rider Decade, and the Gun Ride cards were originally made to look like Kamen Rider Decade's Kamen Rider cards. In fact, to show just how these have changed, I've got with me a Kamen Rider Blade card, which is in the original design. So, here you have them side by side. They still both have the attack stats, they have the names, they have the special attacks, and their attack, defense, and speed stats. But one thing you'll notice on the blade card is this barcode. Because originally, Gondoroid cards had two, pur two purposes. One was for use in the Gondoroid machine using this barcode to scan it into the arcade machine, and the second was for use with Conrad Decade's belt, the DK driver, where you had this barcode on both sides, which would scan in. 
Another thing here is, is the, de the designation of the card. This is, really, this is an attack ride card. And that was one of the categories of cards for Conrad Decade. He had Conrad, Car Conrad cards, which allow him to transform into other riders. Attack ride cards, which let him do attacks of riders. Form ride cards, which let him change forms of riders. As well as final cards, being final attack ride, which was for special attacks. And final form ride, which let him transform other riders into uh, weaponry or vehicles or stuff for him to use. And actually, the old design extended past Decade into Double and O's. But by then, basically all the barcodes didn't really, were basically just generic barcodes. They didn't make any specific sounds. They didn't have any announcements, any voice, any voice calls. Though both of them do still have the symbol of the rider on the back and, you know, some of the same stuff. But, yeah, through uh, Double and O's, most of the cards didn't really do anything special in the Double Driver. So it's good that, basically, Bandai and their card division, Data Card Dust, came to their senses and removed the DK Driver barcodes from the cards. Though now, the cards are really only good for two things. One is, if you live in Japan, you can use this for the Gunball Ride Machine, and two is, it's good if you collect these cards. So that's that, and now, after I'm done talking about the card, and just to let you guys know, I was, I'm not gonna look over the cards that much in the review of the next Astro Switch sets, I was just kind of giving, getting that out of the way to show how the card, has, the card design has changed. So now we can actually show what the switches do. So I've got the 4Z driver here. Once again, have all the switches flipped down. Switch it on. And just activate the transformation. So putting the card off the side and placing down the driver. I got there. Just gonna reposition the camera. So we'll do these in order. First is number seven, the parachute switch. So place that in there. And pull up. So we had the formation of the parachute box, which goes on his uh, left arm, and the release of the parachute. Now actually this releases three parachutes out of a compartment that attaches to his left arm. And that's used to basically slow his descent from a high distance, or even for atmospheric re-entry if he goes off into space and falls to Earth. Which is actually kind of like an actual rocket ship that uses parachutes when coming down to Earth. Which is actually pretty cool. So deactivating it. Then using the chainsaw switch in the cross switch socket. So there we had a revving chainsaw, and the ch that and yeah, the parachute was for the parachute module, and the chainsaw is for the chainsaw mo the chainsaw module, which attaches a fold out chainsaw which attaches to the tip of his boot, which allows him to use the chainsaw for kick attacks, and it's actually pretty commonly used. It is good for mobility, unlike stuff like the radar, the launcher switch, which is used for uh, you know ranged attacks, and the drill switch, which is used specifically for stuff like well, basically used for kicks while in the air because 
you can't really stand on the drill switch because it it is a downward facing drill that goes over the entire foot. So as far as leg switches goes, the chainsaw switch is pretty handy. So then we can also do a limit break with them. So we've got chainsaw already on, and we nitrate parachute. So we're just doing this. And so there we go. Just deactivating them and pulling them out. Then putting back in the default switches. And switching it off. We can conclude. So, yeah, this is the first switch set. This is really, this goes with the whole pick and choose thing that I mentioned in my Forza Driver review. You can get these if you want. This is a nice, the Astro Switch sets are nice because they give you two switches at once. So you don't have to completely collect the switches one by one. Both Parachute and Chainsaw once again bring something new to the table. With new ways of activation and their new and new designs, they're pretty fun. They make some nice sounds, and you know, honestly, if you are collecting the switches, I definitely su suggest going for the switch sets as it really is easier to buy stuff like this where you get two switches at a time instead of having to buy them one by one. The Gunba Ride card is a bonus, but like I said, it's really only good if you're in Japan or if you collect these cards. And, you know, as far as these things go, they're a little bit of a hot commodity, so if you're gonna buy this, don't get them too expensive. These are just switches. You know, try finding them at a cheap and reasonable price. Don't go too high with these. But if you can game for a good price, I'd recommend them. So, please rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more videos. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.